Guys, today we have one of the most exciting videos I have made. I'm going to share with you how I intend on making millions of dollars in this bull run. Not only that, I'm going to be 100% transparent with you. I'm going to show you the step by step for how I'm going to make this. I will keep you updated on my channel and you will be able to see if I am able to make it or not. And also you will be able to potentially learn something from it and also follow along with it if you fancy. Now my trading strategies, as you know, I was talking about this uh, more than one month ago. I gave you a big update about how I was intending on making money short term and long term. And from this video, you've been able to follow along and give you updates every once in a while here about once a week, I create a video updating you on my strategies. And so far, they have made $24,500. Now, I am taking the next step right now, guys. I closed my bots. I'm taking the next step. I'm sharing my next trading strategies with you. I'm sharing my thoughts, the mistakes I made, everything you need to know if you want to utilize something similar, guys. So, guys, very important video today. Make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. Okay, so where should we begin? Let's begin with my trading strategies. As you know, I've been sharing my journey here on my channel. I've been showing you the trading strategies or bots, if you will, I've been using here and uh, I've been sharing my settings and everything. And a lot of people have made insane profits using the same strategies as I have here. So I've been showing you everything transparently on the channel, but I have closed every single one of these bots right now. Now remember these at the bottom, these were at great great losses just a little while ago. However, I kept holding them and they went up and we, um, yeah, we had massive profits ultimately on these bots and I didn't have to convert these bots into uh, leverage positions right here because they were closed at a profit. And by the way, guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, if you're just jumping in, if you're confused, go to the top of the description. You have three video tutorials explaining my bots, explaining my strategies and everything you need to know so you know in depth about what's going on. But for now, I just assume that you already have watched those videos, you've been following my channel, and you know that every single bot I've been having here have been closed at a profit. You can see them right here. I do have the list here, but this is from the actual dashboard over on OKX, all of the bots have been closed at a profit, which is absolutely fantastic because I know a lot of you guys have been making money with them as well. But now it's time to take this to the next step. And the first thing I want to say before I uh, open up the new bots, I have actually opened up them already, but before I share the settings with you, I am going to uh, share everything with you on this uh, sheet here. This is in the description. You can go down to the description and get access to it uh, for now at least right here, trading journal. And here I add everything I do. Every bot I have, I've been adding them right here. And uh, you know, if we convert some uh, bots to leverage positions or spot positions, I will add them right here. We didn't have to do that. Uh, I am adding my hedges. As you know, I did have a hedge minus $17,000. I will talk about this here in a little bit, but this is potentially one of the mistakes I made. Uh, and also you can see the individual trades I've been doing. Not only am I gonna share everything right here, if you click on each and every one of these trades, let's say you want to know more about this trade with $16,000 in profit. Well, if you click on this one, uh, it takes you to this page which actually shows you not only the actual trade here from the dashboard, it will also, and yeah, I'm a little bit lazy, I still haven't added it, but let's take another one. Uh, let's take uh, this short hedge, uh, so to speak. So let's go to this one. You will also be able to see when I talk about the entry and when I exit. Now I've already exited this, but again, I'm a little bit lazy. I will try to keep this as updated as I can, but then I will talk about, or I will add the video in which I talk about exiting and anything else you need to know. It will be available in English, Spanish, German, French, Arabic, Hindi, Portuguese. So we'll be able to find the reference to every one of these links right here, where we are going to discuss these things. But let's say I want to go into a long trade. Let's say, you know, I love my orange boxes. So right now I know for sure that if we come down to this orange box here at $24,300, uh, I will be adding a long position. So what I would do then is I would go here and I would uh, say that I will add an individual trade for Bitcoin at uh, $24,000. 
I would add all of this and then I would wait until this gets executed. And uh, of course, in the video in which I talk about me going into this trade, I will then, uh, just like I showed you right here, I will add that as an entry uh, or under the entry here. So you can just click on the video. It will take you to that exact video. And then once I exit, I will, um, yeah, I will, I will add that video as well. And then we can continue to follow along here throughout the bull market and see how much profit we are going to make. However, the bulk of the profits is going to come from these trading strategies I'm using currently on OKX, okay? So the bulk of the profits are potentially going to come from these trading strategies. This is what I'm anticipating. We will see if that's going to be the case. But so far, so good. Been using them for just over one month and already $25,000 in profit. Now, some people have been asking me, like, you should just uh, not do the PL in dollar amounts, but in percentages. But it becomes hard. Like, how do I make percentages from the profit of the bots together with, like, the profits of or losses of the hedges and the individual trades? Like, how do I calculate, like, how much money I've been using to get the PL? Um, well, what I could do actually is just add. Uh, I guess I could add the percentages for the bots themselves because what I have right here is the um, I tried to use like how much margin have I been using at most at one single point let's say it's $50,000 then that could serve as the margin and then we can calculate the profits and losses and so far that would have been 56% throughout this month so I think that's the most fair way to do it however I will, um, yeah, I will keep you updated on that, but I think that's the best way to do it considering I'm using trading strategies, I'm using hedges, I'm using potentially spot positions for the future. So we need to take that into account as well. But I could just add a column here because the percentages for the bots profits, we already have them very clearly here. So at least I can add the profits and losses percentage wise for the bots here. That is absolutely, um, yeah, that is something I can do. But for these different other things, I mean, I could potentially do it also for the individual trades and hedges percentage wise but it becomes harder when we uh, use the total right here because which base do we calculate that from anyway this is uh, ongoing guys so i will keep you updated also i am going to use other bots actually i've already started to use the bots and i've made a couple of different changes so the first thing is that i'm gonna go from 20x leverage to 10x leverage this time. So I'm using 10x leverage. It's a little bit lower risk. Also, we do have the spot bots right here. So all of these settings you will find in the uh, description. You will uh, see the spot bots, I'm sorry, the 10x bots I'm using. You have them right here. And if you go to the uh, bottom, you have the settings for all bots. It will take you to this page where you can, if in case you are not, um, able to use OKX, you can also use three commas to use these bots. You have the tutorial in the description right here, third tutorial. So if you cannot use OKX, you can use this link to figure out how to use OKX, uh, sorry, how to use three commas. Nonetheless, I have adjusted the settings a little bit here, so you can find them here. Also, I've added a hedge short bot, which you can use together with these to just take away a little bit of the downwards uh, pressure. So as you know, the worst thing for these bots is straight red candles to the downside. The bots do not like straight red candles to the downside. And this short hedge, if you run it simultaneously with these other bots, it will try to take away and equalize out a little bit. Now, I'm not going to use this personally because my strategy, I will go back to my strategy soon, but my strategy is fine with going down and having some losses. But if you want to use this uh, head short, it is gonna try to build a position. If you see a massive move to the upside, then it will try to build a short and it will try to take profit once you see a big drawdown. So you can try to use this, um, but again, trading, be careful. However, you have all of the settings right here for the 20X leverage I was using before. It is these spots right here. All of these were with 20X leverage. And then you have the 10X leverage, which I'm gonna use now. A little bit safer, although it's still 10x leverage, guys, so be careful. A little bit safer, a little bit less dramatic, but also a little bit less profits in general if things do go your way. Of course, if you do not want to use any leverage at all, you have the spot bots right here you can use as well. So you have everything in this document if you want to use that. So let's move on to the bots. So the bots, I've been running them for one day. I was actually going to make this particular video uh, yesterday. However, there was an update for OKX which took one day longer. So I had to wait until today to make that. However, there were some huge, huge updates 
to the OKX bot yesterday, which I will share with you. Uh, however, you can see that already the bots are at juicy profits. So, so far, so good. I will add these ones to the um, to this page right here, right after this video. So by the time you click on this, you will find them right here, actually. So, so far, so good. Everything is going good. So let's talk about some of the features that the bots have added here on OKX. The first feature is that if you add margin, as you know, there was a problem with sometimes a safety orders not being filled, but if you add more margin, that problem is not going to happen. And what they have added right now is that if you do add more margin, then the margin is going to stay for each cycle. So the margin does not reset for the next cycle. And if Guys, if you do not know what I'm talking about, again, watch my previous three tutorials at the top of the description. The other very cool thing, and this is absolutely fantastic, is that you are now able to adjust the take profit price. So what do I mean by that? Well, as you know, we do have a setting for when the bots are going to take profit. However, one huge issue we ran into, and this is something we knew from the beginning, if you see a massive red candle and it starts to accumulate positions, it can take a while for it to actually reach its take profit target because it's just so far away. Let's take this one. So the average price for this position right now is 28,831, which is not too far from where we are at right now. However, however, let's say that the average price would have been at 30,000. Well, then there's a couple of thousand until it's going to reach that level. So what we can now do, guys, is we can adjust this, okay? Let, me, let us take another example. Let us take this one. The take profit price is 29,036. Now, let's say I'm happy to give up some profits just for this cycle to restart. And this is going to happen whenever, you know, you have a lot of safety orders being filled. You're able to give up a little bit of the profits just for it to restart and get out of that position, basically. So to the far right, what you can do now is you just click on the actual bot. You have the take profit price right now. This one wants to take profit at uh, 29,200. And I'm going to say, look, I want this to just take profit at 20, I don't know, 29,100 and then start going again and and start a new cycle so it doesn't get stuck in that position. So I click here and I can add uh, 29,100. Boom. And there's going to be a limit, guys. So you cannot go how low, like you cannot go super low. There's going to be sometimes a limit depending on where you are. And this is going to be uh, less of a problem the more orders it has filled. Uh, but there is a limit. And this is telling me now that I have to be at least above one, uh, 29,123. Hey, uh, one, two, three. Um, so let us do that. So 125. Boom. And now this is going to take profit at 29,125. And then it's going to restart that cycle. This is going to be super useful whenever we have bots stuck at major positions because it means that I don't really have to. Again, I want this to be as automated as possible. And what the problem I would run into with my previous bots is they would accumulate a lot of positions, which is fine, but then they would be stuck because it was so far from the take profit price. And then my idea was that I could convert this into a leveraged position and then just ride that to the upside. Now, we don't really have to use this as much, although I'm still gonna keep this here in case I want to use it, but we can just adjust the take profit price. And this is so useful, guys. This is gonna be super useful for me and I'm very excited about that update. But overall, what are some of the mistakes I was doing here? Well. Of course, one of the big mistakes in hindsight is using this hedge right here. So if you don't know, when Bitcoin was crashing, since I couldn't take profit on these ones because they were uh, actually at a loss and I really do not want to close these at a loss, but also I couldn't adjust to take profit price because OKX didn't re release that function yet. So the only options for me were to convert these to a leverage position or just close them or I could also hedge. So what I did is I hedged that position which uh, when price went up, yes, these bots also went up, profitability went up, because if you don't remember, these bots were actually at one point, you can see it right here, minus 4,800, minus 5,000. So they were at a big, big loss. So yeah, I added that hedge to kind of equalize out a little bit. And when the bots were back in profit, of course, the hedge, I gave up some of that profit with this hedge and it was closed at 
minus 15,800 in total here. Guys, as you know, I'm 100% transparent on my channel always, so I'm sharing my mistakes with you. But was this really a mistake? Of course, if Bitcoin would have crashed further down, then I would have been happy I had this hedge. But now I think utilizing the uh, adjustable take profit prices is going to be so, so useful. So overall, guys, this is my strategy now for this bull market to have these bots trade. And why is this so effective? Well, if you look at when I started to use these bots, you can go to the left here. One month ago, I started to use these. And Bitcoin have more or less, guys, more or less been going sideways. However, the bots have been making 24,554. So the strategies are still doing, doing very, very well. And if we come down lower, it's just a good opportunity to buy because I believe that we are in a bull market. And inside of this teal box, which we are approaching, if you've been following my channel, you know all about this already. But I will be a massive buyer of Bitcoin inside of this teal box. And that way I can dollar cost average into a massive position. Let's say, let's say if we can like come down here inside of this teal box. Let's just take an example. If this happens, well, the bots are going to, with the volatility, make a lot of money. And whenever they get stuck or whatever it may be, I just convert that into a dollar cost average position, which is going to be absolutely fantastic once we find that bottom and the market eventually turns around. Now, if the market just continues to go up, then yeah, that could happen. Then that's fine. My bots are still going to make a lot of profit here. Because remember, as long as the Bitcoin price is eventually going to go up, which I'm 100, like I'm 95% certain that we're going to break $100,000. We're going to break $50,000, $250,000, $500,000 one day. And as long as that happens, the bots are never going to be at a loss unless you change something in the settings or you, uh, you know, cancel the bots, you stop them running or whatever it may be. But for me, I'm just going to try to keep these running as long as possible now. And I will keep you updated on my journey as well. And if you want to follow along, just like I said, I do have the settings for the bots down in the description. So you need an OKX account first. OKX account, you're able to claim up to $50,000 by using this link right here. Once you have that account, you go down, you have the slow bot, you have the fast bot, and you have the cycle bot. So the cycle bot is gonna try to take advantage of the cyclical moves, so the larger moves. The slow bot is gonna try to take advantage of the slower moves, something like this. And the fast bots are gonna take advantage of the very slow moves, or very small moves, like that. So they kind of uh, equalize out each other. And if you want to use a hedge as well, you do have the settings for the hedge bot right here and also the link to using the hedge. But this is not something I'm going to do because I am fine with Bitcoin going down and being able to buy Bitcoin at a lower price. But that is my strategy. We will see, as always, if that is going to work out or not. And if you want to use spot, there's no possibility to use a hedge with a spot bot. However, uh, this is, of course, the safest one. There's no chance of being liquidated using the spot bot right here. So that is definitely something you can do. If you have a lot of money, of course, the profit's going to be lower uh, compared to 10x leverage and 20x leverage, but also the losses are going to be lower in case the trade goes against you. And if you cannot use OKX, if it's banned in your country or whatever it may be, you can use three commas right here. And if you want to know how to use three commas and utilize, utilize these bots, go up to the description of this video. You have the third tutorial talking about exactly how to use that. So guys, now with this said, are you excited about this, about me being 100% transparent here, showing you every step along the way? You will be able to see my trades before I set them up, how they go once I have set them up, when I take profit, and everything else, guys. Are you excited about the bots? Have you been making profits? Let me know down in the comment section. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.